In this video, we're going to discuss getter and setter methods for a class. So fields in a class are typically declared with access modifiers such as public or private, but they're typically made private so that we can ensure information hiding. And in order to access the value of a field, a public getter method, also called an accessor, or a setter method, also called a mutator method, is provided. And a mutator method may modify a field belonging to a class, whereas an accessor method simply just retrieves the field but doesn't modify it. So let's take a look at some examples. We're going to start by creating a class called person by right clicking on the source default package and saying new class person and we're not going to have a main method in there and there is an empty person class the body has no code inside of it notice that when you create a class it must start with a capital letter and the name of the class must match the name of the file person with capital P and the class name person and even though this is empty you could right away start creating a person object person A equals new person and you can't really do anything with the person object yet but what we could do is give person some fields such as string name and int age and this allows you to directly access the person's age and name by simply saying a dot and you could see that the name field should pop up in the box name set this person to Bob and a dot age set Bob to 20 and you can create fields and assign them like that although this is not good practice in Java fields should generally be made private you should stick the word private in front of the name and age field and pretty much all your fields should be private to enforce information hiding you don't want to give direct full access to all your fields for an object. And once you make them private, watch what happens in the class. You get an error. You can't directly access name and age and set them to whatever you want. It doesn't work anymore. So these are gone. So how do we set Bob's name? What we need to do is create a setter method, a public method that looks like this, public void set name we pass in a string parameter, let's call it n, and set name to the parameter, name to n. If you do something like that, and then go back to class demo, you can now set Bob's name by saying the name of the object, a dot, and now we have a set name method that appears, and it's telling you it's from the person class. So, so set name and type Bob in there, and now Bob's name has been set. Let's do the same thing and set Bob's age. So it's going to look very similar for a setter method for the age. Public void set age. And look at the name of the method. It usually always starts with set and then the name of the field starting with the capital letters. Set the parameters to int a for age and set age to a. So now I can set Bob's age, a dot set age, and now notice that the set age method appears when I start typing the dot and I can set his age to 20. Now how do I display Bob's name and age? So I don't have a way to say a dot get the name or get the age. So those methods don't exist. So what we could do is create the getter methods. So the set name and set age are the setter methods or the mutator methods so the getter methods look like this public and rather than having it void as a return type we want to return the name so we make the return type a string because the name is a string and we call it get name it doesn't have any parameters but the body is simply return the name back and the same thing with the, the get age method public int rather than string because age is an integer get age and simply return age. It's as simple as that. These are the two getter methods, also called the accessor methods, which access the data that you need from your class. So let's go back here and we could print out and say a dot get a name. Notice that get name is now there. Is a dot get age 
years old. Run the program, and did I forget something? I forgot the parenthesis at the end. Run the program now, and Bob is 20 years old. You can see that the set name, set age, and the get name and get age methods are working, and these are setter and getter methods.